Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take some items that I got from the thrift store, two separate times, and we're going to put them together. They weren't meant to be together, but we're going to make them look like they've always been together. So this is a wooden bowl and a glass, I think it's a globe from a light is what the glass is. So we're going to take some E6000 and we're going to glue it to the bottom of the bowl and basically make a bowl on a stand um, and it's that easy as far as that goes anyway so I'm just gonna leave it for a little while and let it set once the glue was hardened up so that I could handle it I took some spray outside some clear matte spray and put it on the glass so that it make it easier to paint later on and now I'm taking my clay and clay molds. My mold is going to be a the rooster molds that I have. And this one is the like the medium sized rooster. And we're going to make and unfortunately I didn't get it all in the picture frame. I had it um the camera set on something different and I thought I had it and I guess I didn't, so I apologize for that. But I'm basically putting the clay in the mold and pushing it all in there, and now I'm peeling it off, and I'm gonna put it right on the side of that bowl to give it just a little bit of something so it's not totally plain. Now off camera, I did take my E6000. I usually use just some hot glue, but because this is gonna stand up on a bowl, I want it to really stay on there nicely. So I did take some E6000 and I spread it on the back nice and evenly all around. And so once I placed it on there, I left it on and I let it dry overnight. Of course, you guys aren't going to know that, but I did let it dry overnight so that I could handle it and paint it without it being uh, bothered by me brushing paint on it. So again, another screw up that I did. I apologize. I thought I had the camera going and I did not and I started painting my bowl. So this is Kills Chalk Paint. It's in the, it's called Platinum Ring, I believe is the name of it. It's like a very light bluish gray. I got it for $5 at Walmart and I wasn't looking for it, but I went up back and there it was and said for $5 for this big old can of chalk paint, I'm gonna do it because I thought it was really pretty and I can definitely use it um, and I'm using it today. So I decided to just go ahead and paint the whole project, the top, the bottom, and everything. I did two coats on this. You, uh, I don't think you'll see me do the two coats, but it's two coats. And then I did the, the rim here around the bowl, the top of the bowl. I didn't want to do inside the bowl. I actually sanded that down, and I don't think I got that on camera either. I really messed up on this video. I apologize. Um, but all I did was just sand the inside of the bowl just so that it would take some stain because that's what I'm planning on doing with it. I had something in my mind what I wanted to do, and then when I just started with it, I changed changed it, and you'll see here pretty soon why I did that. So now I'm taking my just some sandpaper and going along and sanding the edges a little bit. I started out sanding the inside of the bowl and trying to get the little bit of paint that I got around the edges off, but it actually um, I just just started sanding the whole thing, um, and I wanted to distress it and get it down to the wood of the bowl in certain spots on the outside so that you could see it. And as you can see here, I did the glass uh, around the bottom and just hit it in certain spots and just let the paint come off wherever it wanted to come off. Now, here I'm taking a wet towel and I'm going over the um, bowl again to see if I can get a little more off because it really didn't work all that well with my sandpaper. So I thought maybe it would work a little bit more with this towel. And it worked okay. It wasn't the greatest. As you can see, there's a couple little spots there. So I kind of went back and forth. I got the paint wet, 
because it's chalk paint, it usually will, as it gets wet, come off. This really stuck to that bowl very well. So I'm going to use some antiquing wax as my stain, and I was going to originally use the Waverly, and as you can see here, it's very brown. This other one I got from Michaels, it's just a, an antique wax uh, that I got on discount, and I really like that one better. It's more of a grayish brown, and so I decided I was going to go ahead and do that instead. So I added in this little cup a little bit of water, and then I'm adding some of that antique wax to water it down a little bit because I want it I don't want it super dark and thick on there I want to be able to pull it off and still be able to see the wood underneath So I decided to use some more of the antique wax and just go around the edges of the bowl and try and give the bowl a little bit of a antique look, an aged look, a more distressed look. And I wanted the parts where I distressed the outside of the bowl and took it down to that raw wood. I wanted to get that antiquing wax on there to give that a darker look on that wood also. So I just started rubbing the antique wax all over and uh, just trying to get it down in the crevices and get it down where it would just sit in the cracks and stuff and just look aged. And I think this came out pretty good as far as this goes. There, there was, uh, I did have a damp rag that I was using to pull it off because I didn't want it super dark, but... Uh, it, I just kept putting it on and then just pulling it back off and seeing what would stay. Now on this bottom part, as you can see, there's a lot of lines on there. I wanted that wax to get down in those lines and just sit in there and give it some definition. And I, I think it really did that. So I'm pretty happy with that part of it as well. I think uh, it, they both, both pieces did what I expected them to do. And I wanted to look like they belong together, and I think they do now. So I'm also going to add to the top of this wax a little bit of the Waverly chalk paint ink, the black color. And I'm just lightly dry brushing it onto, my, onto the bowl, going around the edges and going over the bowl itself. Again, I have a damp rag. So as I'm putting it on there, I just want a light touch. Um, but as you can see a little bit later on, you'll see I actually went really dark at one point on there. And I was like, oh boy. And I took my wet rag and it pulled it off. And it, it just kind of smooths it out and kind of makes it go in with all the other colors. And it gives you all these variations once you get it just rubbed in on there. I think the wax helped that too. So the other thing that I wanted is the black to get down inside of the of those cracks and crevices on that bottom part again. So I'd put it on and just pull it right back off again. Let's see what it looks like now.
So the next project that I have is a project that I got at a flea market just the other day. I'd been there before. It's the flea market that takes the tags off. So I'm going to try really hard to remember how much I paid for each item. There's only a few here, so I should be able to remember. But uh, one of these is going to be in the next project. So I just want to do a really quick haul and show you what I got. So the first thing I got is this really cute basket. It's I got a flat back on it and it's rounded on the front with this cute little wire hanger. A couple of little wooden beads on here. So and this was two dollars at the flea market. So I picked that up because I thought it would be really cute hanging on whatever. <laughs> I just really liked it. So I picked that up. I got this for a dollar. It was hanging in a booth and I'm going to try and bend it and make it so I can put a candle, some pit berries, some Spanish moss of course, uh, and kind of do it up in my style. I really thought it was cool and for a dollar you can't pass it up. Another thing that I got was this big basket. I haven't been able to find any baskets at Goodwill lately, not ones that I really want. Uh, I like the flat uh, ones that you can hang on the wall. A lot of people style up there, you know, a whole wall with baskets like this. So I found this and this was two dollars so I had to get it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to paint it, leave it the same. I probably will take some antiquing wax and maybe antique it a little bit darker just because this blonder, lighter color isn't quite my style. But I don't know. I really, I really like the shape of it and I think you could do a lot of things with it. All right, another thing that I got, this was only a dollar. This is burlap, and I was going to open it and show you guys what it looked like. I saw this and I said for a dollar, and it seems like a pretty big, um, a pretty big roll of burlap. So I wanted to see what it was. I don't know if it's a coffee one or like a bag, a coffee bag, um, but it's, oh, they got it tied up pretty nicely here. Let's see. So yeah, it is a coffee burlap bag. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look how big. I'm going to stand up for this. I had to stand up and get a better shot of this. This bag is huge. Very cool. And then the back is totally plain. And this says Royal Coffee. Uh, a bunch of other words and a bunch of numbers and some numbers on the side and uh, cooperative cafe to more organic coffee so look I mean look at the stitching on this isn't that cool all that stitching all the way down the side very awesome so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it but I had to pick it up for a dollar they did have another one there. I feel kind of bad that I didn't pick it up because this one is in such good shape. There's, there's no rips, no stitch. Oh, I lied. There's a rip right there, but that's okay. Like there's no stitching um, coming out for the most part. Um, it's a very nice coffee bag. So if I'm in that area again, I may stop and see if they have any more of these. Okay, this is the, another thing that I got. It's a wire uh, tiered tray. Very cool. $5.50 for this guy. It sits a little funny. I'm not really sure why, but I think I can fix it. It's all wire and metal, so I think I can do a little bending and fix it. It definitely needs a paint job or a good clean because it is very dirty. It's yucky, but it's a very sturdy little um, tiered tray and for $5.50 I thought that was a great deal. Nice big baskets, so I'm going to do something with that. And last but not least I have this, I guess it's probably a bread basket maybe. It's one of those long skinny, looks like a bread basket that you'd set on the table with a loaf of bread in it. And this is what I'm going to do my next project on today. I had to pick one out of all these and for some reason this one's been talking to me and telling me you need to do me up, make me pretty. So I'm going to do the same method on this basket as I did with the bowl and I'm 
I decided to paint this with a paintbrush. A lot of times people won't paint baskets with a paintbrush because there are just so many cracks and crevices and places to get in and you don't ever get it all. But that's okay because I don't need to get it all because I'll probably just distress it back anyway. So it's okay. But I did make it a valiant effort to get in all the places so that you didn't see where I might have missed. I wanted you to be able to see where I where it actually was distressed. So it took me a long time and this also took me a long time and it was taking a wet rag and distressing it and I just went around and rubbed and it actually came off pretty good uh, on this basket so I was pretty happy with that and I really liked it although it does have the orange but now I'm taking that antique wax that I had watered down previously and I'm putting it on the basket and then I'm just going to wipe it back again and it just gives it a darker, deeper color and again it sits down in those cracks and crevices and it covers up a lot of that orange from the basket and when I do the black over the top it'll also will help with that. You'll still see it but it does definitely help. So I'm just putting it on and then wiping it right back off and trying to get some of the excess. I like it down in the cracks but I don't want it like puddled in there. So here you can see the difference where I've done it and where I haven't and there I'm pretty well finished. And now I'm taking my black ink uh, or Waverly ink chalk paint and I'm just going to do the same lightly just a light dry brushing on it and again if I get too much in spots which happens I just take my wet rag and I wipe it back and it comes off. And I think it's because that wax is on there first, so it helps me uh, control how much goes on the basket or how much paint gets on there. So I think it came out pretty good. I really like um, the antique look of this and it gives it a whole new look from what it used to be. I just love the bones of the basket. I'm just not a fan of the, the color. Hope you liked my two repurposed projects today. If you're interested, there will be a playlist coming up on the screen here soon. And there's also links down in the description to my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing any of my products. So thanks for watching guys and have a great day.